Hi, today we're going to look at how to add files to your Neighbors by Vintium portal. So I'm logged into my account as a Master Administrator. I'm going to go to the side menu. I'm going to click on Documents, Files. You can see here that I have different folders within my files. So I have some loose files here. I have a PDF, a link, and an image. And then I have different subfolders. So I'm going to add a file to this subfolder called, called resources. I click on it. You can see the files that I already have. I'm going to click on the green plus button and I have the option to add a new folder, a new file or a link here. I'm going to add a file. I'm going to choose my file. I'm going to be adding this ebook. So why communication mass in your HOA? I choose the document type. So it's a PDF. And then I choose who can see it. So public means that anyone logged into the portal can view it. Manager slash administrators means that um, your manager and anyone adding as an administrator can see it. Only administrators is just administrators. So normal administrators and master administrators. The report manager is a profile that just manages documents. Private means that individual people can be added. So I would add individual people here. Otherwise, I can choose profiles. So just certain profiles could see it such as board members or concierge, and you can add more than one type of profile. And then you have the option of contact group. So contact group is if a committee or club are the only people who can see this file. So in this case, I'm going to allow it to be public. So everyone logged in can see it then I can choose certain options. If it's an important document, such as meeting minutes or something that you want everyone to be notified about, you can choose to send a notification. That means everyone will be notified that this document was added. You can change the document date. So again, if we think meeting minutes, I am uploading this a week after the minutes were approved, but you want them to be uploaded with the date of the meeting, you can change the document date. And then you can include a due date. If there's a task where something needs to be done, you can include that. And you can also enable the public URL. So that means it creates a link which can then be shared outside of the system. So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna add it. So this is a little bit of a heavy file, so it might take a little bit of time, but there you go, it's up. You can see it here. If you don't like the name of it, you can always come back, you can edit, and you can adjust the name here. So let's remove .pdf and save. There we go. Then you have the public URL that I chose, so I can click on the link and I can copy that so I can use it anywhere I like. I can also download the file. I can choose to now notify residents. If you change your mind, you want to do that, you can always notify them. You can move the file to a different folder. I showed you we could edit and you can also delete it if you need. Then to open it, you would click on the document and open up within the system. So I can go through it and read it. All right. And that is how you upload a document to Neighbors by Vintium. If you want to adjust your documents, you can go into document type and you can add different types of files. If you would prefer to, rather than having the type of file, to call it the type of topic that it's about, so finances, you could do that here. Otherwise, if you have a lot of documents and you really want to be able to organize them well, you can come into tags and you can add new tags. And if you are uploading a lot of files to and folders to a lot of different communities, you can create a batch of folders here. So you can create finances for all the different communities that you have. And that is how documents work.